Tactical Gamers, I want to show you a few things. What you just saw right there are some new things coming in 2021 to the game Ground Branch. If you haven't heard of it, you're about to start hearing about it much, much more. A semi close quarters tactical shooter with a high emphasis on realistic tactical gameplay. A development team that's focused on bringing you into an immersive scenario where you are the operator. Mark my words, write them down, take it to the bank. Whatever analogy you want to use, this game is going to make some waves in 2021, so you better snatch it up now at a solid price of 20 US dollars. You can pick it up at my game store down below, or you can just buy it on Steam. But the game store supports me, so you should definitely do that. The game is currently in their 1030 build, but there are a lot of things coming in the 1031 and 1032 builds, which you saw just a second ago. Specifically, what most current players are waiting on is the animations, and that's coming in the 1032 update, so that'll be later on in the year. However, there are a lot of really cool things coming in the 1031 build, so I'm going to show you those now. They released a video and a dev blog to show some of the new quality of life upgrades coming in 1031. Not quite as exciting as the new animations for sure, but still really great updates. I showed you the grenade effect above as well as the new magnifier transition, but there are a few other things on their way. One of the coolest and most important things are the implementation of a wristwatch with a compass on it. In the current build, there's no real way to tell which direction is which unless you remember the map in your head. While this does work fine in real life, video games are way different. You're not able to orient yourself as well, and that's where these video games have to help out a bit with visual cues. This watch will be a game changer when it comes to coordinating enemy positions and movements. The team wants to keep the hood to a minimum and maintain that realism and immersion, so this is a great way to implement it. I would imagine that you still have to press a button to check your watch because right now you're not able to see your forearm with most of the weapons, but we'll see how that plays out. They're also working on door opening mechanics, so it's a lot smoother than the current build, which looks like this. new flashbang effect that looks a little bit better than just a white screen is here. On a quick side note, has anyone ever been flashbang before? I, I, I'm just curious to what it actually looks like. In my cushy life, I've never had the opportunity. So just let me know how realistic this is. Moving on though, they've also been working on some sounds, such as sound occlusion in buildings and positional audio. As sound is a huge part of immersion and tactics, this is great news. Mixon, you're, you're a top-notch guy, man. I love this. Check out the high-quality setup for the mag drop audio. Working with what you got. Great job, Chief. Also, there was this teased. A strictly close quarters map. While we can't see much here, I would imagine some intense moments and a lot of accidental team kills will happen on a map like this. That should be fun. The training base is also getting an upgrade, and I didn't know this, but you can type this into the console command to get yourself over to the training base and pretend like you're playing COD 4 again trying to get that training time down. Now that's it for 1031, at least what they've released so far. Let's move on to 1032. 1032 is the big one we've all been waiting for, like I said before. New animations. Imagine making four new animations for all weapons in the game when it comes to reloads. Along with that comes prone and animation refinement for all of the weapons. Just a lot of work for one dude. But these previews all show he's doing great work. Keep it up. Like I said before, you really can't see your left forearm when you're playing like these images show. So I would imagine some weapon placement changes on the screen will happen. Not 100% sure though, the field of view may just be out much more. We'll have to see. Personally, I'm most excited for prone to be added to the game. Not only is it immersion breaking to be unable to go prone, but I personally need all the help I can get when it comes to weapon stability. I would imagine they're going to have to tweak the AI a little bit as well once this is implemented so that it's more difficult to see you when you're prone. The AI itself still needs quite a bit of work, but it's getting there. They're also going to be adding some spicy new cosmetics so you can gear up more than your 14 year old cousin who just got into airsoft this Christmas. On a real note though, these look fantastic. Speaking of looking fantastic, another new map, the oil rig. Talk about some intricate parts. Now I bet this map is a pain in the expletive to make. 
a bunch of tubes and wires that literally do nothing but add to the aesthetic. I highly respect map designers and their creative brains, man. That just has to be such tedious work. All right, that's it for these updates. I'm sure there are more unannounced things coming, especially in the 1032 update, but we'll just have to wait and see. Overall, I think these animations, effects, and sounds combined are what really are going to take this game to the next level. If the multiplayer system gets refined, which I know is in the works, I see this game being a huge success in 2021. It's definitely a game that I would recommend to everyone that wants to get into tactical gaming. Maybe not the first purchase, but it is a great stepping stone into the broader library of tactical shooters. Alright, thanks for watching up to this point. I really appreciate the support. If you like this video or found it helpful, feel free to smash that like button and subscribe. It's the best way you can support me and my channel. Okay, time for my time for my new catchphrase for 2021. You ready? I'll see you on the next one. But until then, stay tactical.